In this video, we will understand how to take a backup in a non-archive mode. To take a database in a uh, non-archive mode, what we need to do is, we first need to do a proper shutdown. You need to do a proper shutdown and it should not be a shutdown abort. And then you need to copy all the data files, all the redo log files and the control files to the backup destination. So right now we'll see how it is accomplished. We'll try to accomplish the following in this current video. So for that we log into SQL, log in as a sys user. Or a DBA user. Login with sysdba privilege. Do a shutdown immediate. And before doing a shutdown immediate, what you need to do is you need to identify where all your control files are, where all your data files are, and where all your redo log files are. For that, you identify the control file by querying the control file table and it displays you the destination of your control file. To know your data files, you query the following table that is db underscore data files, db underscore data files and file name will list you the various data files present in that database. The third important set of files are the log files. So you query the table select member from v dollar log file and it displays you all the redo log files. So when you take an archive non-archive backup, you shut down your database using the shutdown immediate clause. After the database is shut down, you copy these files which are existing in these destinations to a backup destination. The backup destination could be a hard disk, could be a tape device or a any other storage device. But the main important thing in a non-archive backup is all the files have to be copied. All the files have to be copied. None of the files has to be missing. And all these files has to be copied to a backup destination. So now we will copy all the file to the backup destination. And after that's done, after all these files are copied to the backup destination, you do a startup. Now suppose something happens wrong in your database, someone fires a wrong query and you want to recover your database. What you do is you copy all the files which you had backed up in the destination, backup destination to the existing destination. And so what happens is in the time of crash, you will take all the files which are in the backup destination to the existing destination in your hard disk. And it should exist, these files should exist in the same folder. All the files have to be copied, that is the log files, the data files and the control files. And after the files are copied, you just do a startup. The database is shut down. You do a startup. And when you do a startup, you will find your database has recovered to the time when you had backed up the database. There is no way to bring your database to how it was at the current state. Okay, so to identify whether your database is running in a non-archive log mode, you fire the, the following query, select log 
underscore mode from VDollar database and your database is in a non archive log mode that should be the mode displayed in uh, the database v VDollar database table in log underscore mode column next what we need to do is is we now sorry we now understood how you take a non archive log backup you uh, cannot take an online backup in a non archive mode the problem with non archive mode is you need to shut down the database so the users won't be able to access the database when you are trying to take the backup the database backup can't be online so you cannot take an online backup in a non archive mode you need to copy all your data files control files and your redo log files to the backup destination you need to copy all the files so when you are want to restore the backup you need to bring in all the files the data files the control files and the redo log files from the back backup destination so you understand that the backup in non archive mode the problem with the non backup with non archive mode is you need to shut down the database so it reduces database availability and uh, also to restore the database in that at the inst situation of a database crash would be more time consuming because you need to restore all the files and third is the flexibility available in a non archive mode is lesser compared to that in an archive log mode you can only restore the backup till the point of time you took the backup so it is always recommended for a dba to take a backup in an archive log mode